Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, I'm artist Julian Van Dyke. Welcome to my studio. Uh, not only am I an artist, I'm a writer, painter, um, and like to read books. And I know uh, at this particular time, it's very uh, important for all of us to learn how to read. And I know it's important for you. So at this particular, uh, one second. Uh, my director handed me some information, vital information, and uh, he wants me to stay on point. So what we are going to do today is that each time that we meet, uh, we're going to try to stay on pattern, on time, okay? And the process um, will begin by uh, reading a little bit. Read a little bit of uh, some of my books, and uh, maybe in between the reading, uh, we'll show and demonstrate how I came and got the idea to draw some of the characters and the pages that are found in the books that I wrote and illustrated. How about that? All right? And then we'll have a little talk about a time. Uh, we'll discuss the things that was read because sometimes you may read some stuff and you forget all about it. Sometimes I do that. So we'll take a little bit of time to read and talk about uh, the things that we have read. Then. We'll take a page out of my favorite books, one of my favorite books, So You Think You Can Color. Uh, it's really a good book for those who like to color, uh, no matter how old you are. Um, it kind of gives you the freedom to show your creativity. So uh, we'll do that. I'll take a page out of that. Uh, and then I'll uh, go to my painting uh, area. And I'll show you some of my paintings and uh, my canvases that I've been painting for that are showing in galleries. We'll do that. And uh, stick around at the end of the show. I'll give you more information on how you can uh, send in your letters and your artwork to the show. And we will be uh, uh, happy to get that and put them on uh, the screen. Uh, in addition to giving thanks to my, my mom, who happened to be a teacher, uh, but all the teachers, um, I was very fond of uh, the writings of Maya Angelou, uh, Bob Ross the painter, and Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers' show in my neighborhood um, really told gentle stories uh, that gave, um, you know, nice stories to comprehend and to understand. And he had little puppets reading and help to um, tell the story in this program. Unfortunately, I don't have any puppets around. So, uh, one second. Someone's at my door. What do you think about that? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, this is my director. Come on up here, Mr. George. Mr. George, the director. Audience, Mr. George. Mr. George, the audience, take a bow. He always keeps me on point. Thank you. Um, you know, it's always fun to read. And like I said at the beginning of the program, um, the main director of our program is to make better readers. And um, I've got a book around here somewhere. Do you have a book back there? Thank you very much. The first book that we're going to start off is, uh, does this make you a bully? You know, like I said in, in early in the program, bullying, the conversation of bullying is very important. And it tells, you know, the, the different disrespectful things, how people are treated, uh, the different topics of bullying. And I tried to uh, put all of that in this book. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, first and foremost, Let's start the reading of Does This Make You a Bully? Does This Make You a Bully? You may think that it's fun to tease, make fun of those whenever you please. Hurtful words that will make you freeze? Does this make you a bully? How would you feel if your friends left you out? No answer was given that put you in doubt. Things that were said you knew nothing about? Does this make you a bully? 
Hitting or tripping is not very cool. To push and to kick is against the rule. At home, playground, or even at school, does this make you a bully? To threaten someone would be in bad taste and not think it over and do it in haste. The times to be friends would all go to waste. Does this make you a bully? To call someone names that's not of their own, not a good time and sets a bad tone, may hurt their feelings and leave them alone. Does this make you a bully? Rumors and lies can spread really fast. Things that aren't true and hard to get past. The damage it causes and the times it will last. Does this make you a bully? Making fun of a person in public is bad. It makes them feel weird, awkward, and sad. It's funny to some, but to others it's sad. Does this make you a bully? On the internet, some are quite mean. They put out false things and cannot be seen. Red day and night and in between. Does this make you a bully? Bullying flies in all directions, tearing apart our social connections. No love or affection without any love or any affection. So just who is a bully? So just who is a bully? Someone who makes you feel less about who you are as a person. So don't be a bully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, My favorite part of the program... Talk about it, time. Mr. Elephant, what'd you write? Hello, friends. This is my talk about a time. Teasing someone or to laugh at them in order to embarrass, upset, or annoy is not how we should treat one another. I say, be kind to others is the only way. Can you tell me the words of my story that sound alike in rhymes? Look at the arrow. Hurtful words that will make you freeze. There was no more. Where's the other page? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you may think that it's fun to tease. Make fun of those whenever you please. What words are the arrows pointing at? The right words are tease, please, and freeze. Thanks for being a good listener. Now it's time for our drawing session. What character are you going to put up today so we can sketch and let our friends see you draw, Mr. Artist? We got to hurry. Let's speed it up. Ooh. I started with a pencil sketch. And we'll do it like this. And And that was my final product. Another talk about a time.
Leaving you out is a form of bullying that not only hurts your feelings, but... Leaves you up in the air. I say, be friends in the group and stay in the loop. In my story, I see the words about, out, and doubt. All of them sound the same, but one of the words, last three letters, is spelled differently from the other two. Which one? About, out, and doubt? Hmm. The different spell word is doubt. Thanks for being a super listener. Keep up the good work. Oh, we're in my painting studio. What is the artist going to paint today? Show me some color. Oh, I like yellow. Oh, it looks like an insect with some kind of antlers. But I like the color yellow. What do you think, audience? Let's speed it up. Because, you know, our director, Mr. George, he's got a time variance on his hand and... Oh, yeah? He's getting another color, another brush to fix up. Ah, oh, that's going to look nice. I wonder what that is. Wow! A yellow butterfly. So you think you can color. All right. Now this challenge, it's not really a challenge, but what I'd like to see for those at home and watching this program, if you got this book or if you download it, ask your parents if you can for my younger students and send in your color pictures. I want to see your images. We'll put them up on screen. Wait till the end of the program. I'll give you the information where and um, you can send your images to. I drew a, a grasshopper and I painted it too. Thank you for visiting in my studio today. We had lots of fun. One second. Don't forget you can get my artwork at vandykeart.com. You can get my books at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Next Liberous Publishing. Don't forget to send your likes and comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel in my studio.